Hello, I'm Terry Oxtetter, Business Development Manager for Bodine Electric Company. In this episode of Terry's Tour of Trade Shows, you'll see how small electric motors are used in food processing machines. November is the time of year we all give thanks for a bountiful harvest of food. And this year, it was also the time of year that I gave thanks for a bountiful harvest of food processing machinery at the Process Expo in Chicago. I'm going to show you just a few of those machines in this video, focusing on the ones with the small electric motors in them. The first type of food processing machine I'll show you is the mixer. The portable mixer caught my attention because it is little more than an electric motor with a long shaft and impeller attached to it. The mixer is used to mix liquids together or to blend solids into liquids. Things like sauces or salsas or salad dressings. The motors are usually a variable speed AC type controlled by an inverter. Because the motor is exposed to what's in the vat as well as to the cleanup process, it is always a totally enclosed motor with sealed electrical connections. Often the motor is made of stainless steel. The next type of food processing machine I'll show is the filling machine. I actually saw this machine at the International Dairy Show, which was co-located with Process Expo. This machine is used to fill plastic bottles with milk. The multiple nozzles and the carousel allow multiple bottles to be filled simultaneously. Everything appears to be made of stainless steel because of the sanitary nature of the application. Another type of motorized machine used in food processing is the pump. The pump is used to disp dispense liquids or semi-solids during the food processing. The material can range in thickness from water, to a sauce, to a paste, to a dough. Like the mixer, you'll probably see a variable speed motor driving the pump. But because dispensing material is usually a more precise function, you might see a brushless DC motor with an encoder on the pump. One machine found in almost all food processing lines is the conveyor. Whether it's a part of another machine and moves the product through a process, or it's just for getting product from one machine to another. I see motor-driven conveyors at almost every industrial show I go to, but the ones for the food processing industry are quite unique because of the, of the sanitary nature. I saw that some of the conveyors are designed for easy disassembly and reassembly for better cleaning, and I saw that the belts are either made of a special rubber with sidewalls to contain liquids, or of a stainless steel mesh where baked foods are transferred through an oven and into a cooling carousel. The motors need to withstand repeated exposure to both the product that are being processed as well as the harsh solutions used to clean the machines every day. Besides the stainless steel shafts and structural parts, the motors need food grade lubricants and superior shaft seals. One more type of machine used in food processing is the inspection machine. These machines use different technologies, like x-rays or magnetism, to detect foreign materials that might have contaminated the food being processed. Electric motors drive the conveyors that move the product through the inspection device. These are just five examples of motorized food processing machines that I saw at Process Expo 2013. There were also machines that did things like cooking sauces or pastas for, pre for prepared foods, cutting and dicing vegetables, slicing or grinding meat, forming ground meat into hamburger patties, vacuum wrapping food packages, etc, etc, etc. What they all had in common was their use of stainless steel components and their design for repeated washdown 
in order to maintain sanitary working surfaces. Also, food processing isn't like a lot of other industrial processes that might tolerate an interruption because the food can spoil, so reliable motors are a necessity. And with some of these operations running 24-7, it would be good to have a motor or a gear motor that lasts a good long time.